Hi everyone, John Baddorf here, and today I want to talk to you about Lightroom's new import process. Uh, now Adobe uh, recently released an upgrade uh, to Lightroom about a week, week and a half ago I guess, and it caught a lot of us off guard um, because the changes really weren't well communicated to the community. And the big change was is the import process. Uh, now we have a splash screen that's called Add Photos, and essentially what it does is it scans your system for any drives that have photos that haven't been imported into Lightroom. So it looks at your camera, if you have a camera attached, or your card, or your drive, and then it looks at Lightroom and says, are these already imported or not? And this process really slows down, or at least my system, it slowed down my system quite a bit. And then on top of everything else, it was causing the system to crash. Adobe was quick to respond with a patch in a couple of days to resolve the crashing issue, but still I find that my system and its performance is really slow. Now on top of just this process, they really reworked um, the import process. So I'm going to select my Leica M9 here and just talk to you a little bit about it. So by default this is what you're going to see in the check marks will show you the images that haven't been imported in, into Lightroom. And it's really streamlined and the goal of Adobe, I think, was to streamline this for people um, so they just start using the program because this process can be very daunting for some people. But in the process of this, they really got rid of, or hid, I should say, some of the features that we, we teach a lot at our workshops and using so you don't have a mess, so you don't have this catalog that's very disorganized and all the rest. So by default, what happens is it just imports and dumps them into your picture folder by date. Um, we use a different technique where we really focus on the subject and the year so things are nice and orderly. So this is a standard uh, splash screen that you'll see. In order to make it look somewhat familiar to what you're used to before, you'd have to come up here and click on the left-hand side to get access to your, uh, to your drives. And then over here in the gearbox on the right-hand side. And then you'll start to see things, some things that are familiar. But once again, uh, they really they really change us quite a bit. You'll see with file handling, uh, now all we can really do is uh, copy. Uh, move is no longer an option, so we can just copy our images. Uh, now why would you need to move? Well, if you scan images to your hard drive and you need to move them to location in Lightroom uh, or designate that location in Lightroom is really quite handy. So having move gone, while well, probably not a feature that was used a lot, uh, frankly, was kind of nice to have. You'll find under advanced are some of the features such as converting to uh, DNG, uh, renaming your files, and uh, some of the presets. Now, like I said, I think they streamlined this, and the goal was to streamline this for uh, you know people that didn't weren't really familiar with the software. But I think they did, did themselves a disservice, and maybe this is a result of just. Uh, you know, them trying to really tailor to the, the community that was used to using Aperture previously. I'm, I'm not sure. So what I'm going to talk to you about isn't so much about our process and what we recommend for importing, but how to turn off at least a splash screen so that uh, you can at least just come to this dialog box without having to worry about doing the ad photos and possibly slowing down your system, at least until Adobe uh, releases some future generation upgrades that improve things. So we're going to cancel out of this. Now we're going to go into Lightroom's preferences, uh, select Lightroom, then come down to the preference tab. And right here where it says show add photo screen, we're going to uncheck that box and close out. Now what happens is when we put a camera card in or we hit the import, we're no longer going to be faced with uh, add photos uh, splash screen. Instead, we're just going to have uh, you know, the dialog box that we were somewhat familiar with before. Um, so this iPhone really stabilized my system, and like I said, I assume Lightroom uh, will have a couple more upgrades to come. This is the first real uh, stubbing of their toe that I've seen, in, in, at least in three to four years of, of this degree. And so I, I have high hopes that it's going to get resolved uh, quickly. So for right now, I would just leave Add Photos unchecked, um, and uh, frankly, I'll probably leave it unchecked unless they make improvements that make sense for me to use it because I really know where my photos are at and I don't really need the system to be scanned. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop me an email at john at Thank you very much.